Good morning and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going out with Mike to do a ride on the beach, which means that I'm going to try to turn my Focus Raven hardtail mountain bike as much as possible into a beach ready bike. I already tried these fat tires out in the sand one time. They are 2.3 with very little profile. That works really well on really low pressure. But today I'm gonna make a few modifications that are specifically intended for the beach. The first one, and definitely an important one, is to install a bigger front chain ring because the speeds on the beach can be way higher and they're never really low because you're not climbing a lot on the beach, it's flat. And because the speeds can go up to like 60 kilometers an hour if you have tailwind, I'm gonna install this 42 tooth front chain ring, which means I'm also going to have to replace the chain. Ready for the next step and probably the most exciting one. The standard wheels that came on here are DT Swiss X1900. But as I already mentioned, on the beach the speeds are high. So the best upgrade to make your bike faster, everyone knows, is a fast set of wheels. Now a little disclaimer, I got these wheels for the new gravel bike. But since I can't show you that bike yet anyway, I'm going to put those wheels in here and then as soon as we can ride the new bike I will transfer those wheels back to that bike. I'm gonna enjoy these as much as I can. So the wheels I have here are the boost version of the gravel wheels that I was running in the Maris. So this is the HGC 1400. The only real difference is the boost hub so it's a little bit wider than a standard road bike hub. And that also makes it a little bit stronger. So if we go bikepacking on the gravel bike later, these can resist even higher system weights than the regular gravel wheels. I think this is a standard 11 speed body. I'm gonna see if the 12 speed XT system fits on here. You can already tell that body looks like a different for your body. Right, I think I might have a problem here because these two systems do not look the same to me. I'm going to just try to put it in and see if that works. That's what she said. So the teeth on here look different from the teeth in here, which means it won't work. It might be possible to get it to work, but then I need to find a 12-speed body that works with this type of ratchet system. For today, that means that I'm going to ride these wheels, not these fancy new ones. Bummer. Make her eyes roll when I slide in. Neck on wrist on shine, man. Tell them say less, no comment. And we only here for the commas. All right, then the final modification, again, is all about aerodynamics. On the beach, you will often see riders riding on sort of extended handlebar. Now I don't want to put full-on aero bars on there, so I got this little aero handlebar thingy. It's made by a company called FAR and it allows you a little bit more control if you're putting your hands like this on the handlebars. So that should help if we got headwind, which I believe we have today, to keep up a little bit more speed on the beach. I'm really curious to see if these modifications will make a difference compared to last time I went to the beach where I did no modifications, I just uh, changed the tires. Our goal, by the way, is to also ride some beach races at some point. So this is a kind of test ride. Okay, I like the look of this. It's definitely different from the bike packing setup the last time I rode this bike. I'm gonna change it to my winter kit because it's freaking cold outside, I think two degrees. And then uh, I'll see you on the beach. Albert on the dunes. Work on the bike. Off season is ended. Almost. <laughs> it's good weather. What uh, pressure do you have in it? Do you no think? Idea. I think around 1.2 now. Let's see if I need to go lower. Last time I had 1.2 in the back and 0.9 in the front or something. Wanna see you do that? Okay, we'll see. Here. 
rain jacket in it, a tire, some batteries, and oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. It is really neat. Yeah. What is this, by the way? Question to the viewers What sort of sea life is this? That's right. Oh, it looks nice. <laughs> you think the birds will attack it? I don't hope so. I don't hope so. <laughs> Made it to Scheveningen, the beach near The Hague, with this special Ferris wheel contraption. It means we're about halfway our route, which ends up at Monster. And Monster in Dutch means the same as in English, so a bit of a weird name. Beautiful, Belma Bayes. Always fun to be here. When I was younger, I'd go always to here to the beach. Always. The ten times that I was on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't actually hit dogs, but at the beach, you never know when they're gonna run into your wheel. No, no, no. <laughs> they always look like they do. But now we have a slow speed, but I make when you have a tailwind here, go 50 yeah. kilometers an hour, yeah. and then. bitch, while we vibing, you know I be on that time and light up on fire and dress it up, yeah, I be styling. Eat up the drip, she be dining, straight to the top, she be climbing. We the ones that they admire, all of these niggas expire. Ice on the boss and we hire, raising the hood where it's sirens, they hopping on ship like a pirate. to the dunes. Lekker als dat tarmac. Zweet zet dit feels a little bit more rough than the sand. <laughs> yeah, true. Less cushiony. Yeah. Mikey made it to Naaltijk. Beautiful. In a beautiful, <laughs> inspirational uh, industrial area. Probably what are we doing here? Paying a visit to Dynamic, the loop guys. From your last video. Yes. Because you have some questions. Because we want to look at some secret developments. Exactly. Of products that they don't have yet, but that they will release soon. This morning I thought, which loop I do I need for the beach? Which did you use? A wet loop. Wet loop. But in the beginning it was directly the sand attached directly to the chain. <laughs> yeah. and oh fuck. <laughs> but then we go to the to the water. To the water. Yeah. And now it's and still. Then it was better. Yeah. Because I just have the chain oil that was on the KMC chain. A new one. It feels like uh, sandpaper now. We need to uh, ring the bell. I think she's coming. Maggie, it's pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, we can learn a lot about it. I'm not the guy of, of the free watts, but I hate cracks and uh, noises in the chain or something else. Exactly, just for uh, everyday use, we learned a lot. Yeah. In the metro and at the station, you must wear a face mask. Stop the ride. Maybe I got a KOM on the bit just now. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Maybe we should get uh, yeah. something at the station before we go to the bike wash. And I'm also going to have to go to a, a camera wash. Too much salt in the lens. Salt, sand, everything. Doesn't look good. It's good for the flares. <laughs> okay, let's end the video here. What a beach adventure. Uh, a small beach adventure. But we will come we will definitely do back with the whole crew. Exactly. When we got all the bikes, put some fat tires on them and we're gonna do some more beach exploring. Maybe some bike packing. Sleeping on the beach. Who knows? Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>